So this is Onyx's Roadmap to Success, and I just wanna go over a few things that we chatted about during today's session. And the first one I just wanna mention is to refer you back to the video above this one to go over how to ignore him when he's barking, and it's a great video to show guests and family members, friends, to show them how to appropriately walk into the home and then greet him, or actually not greet him until he's learned how to calm down. Just as another reminder, um, dogs think in very cause and effect ways. So if a dog does something and then you do something, they think they caused it. Um, a common example of this is something like where if you're coming home and you hear your dog scratching at the door because they're excited to see you, if you open the door, they think scratching now caused you to open the door. Same thing with barking. If you, if you hear him barking and you go to open the door, he thinks barking caused you to open it, which is bad because now he also might think he has to bark to get you to come back. So just keep in mind that if he's doing something, think about what you're doing that is possibly triggering him to have that type of behavior. Um, and remember when he's doing something to demand your attention, which for him is mostly just barking, um, just ignore it or you can use the other method we discussed, which is counter conditioning, and then the next advanced stage of that. Counter conditioning is when you take a treat, you kind of smush it between your fingers. I like to put a bunch of treats in my hands, so I have a bunch ready, so I put a bunch in my hands, make a kind of like a fist like this, hold one in my fingers, and then you let the dog's chin sit on your hand like this, and then you put the treat right by their nose and their mouth, and then you can kind of move their head in any direction. So you want the dog to be looking at whatever would cause them to bark, while they're eating the treat and have make that positive association with being calm, eating a treat and looking at something that would make him bark. For example, if you're dancing with a baby, playing with the baby, you wanna be doing this while you're having him look at the baby to learn how to be calm and nicely behaved during this time period. Importantly, you don't wanna do this if he starts barking. So if you start playing with the baby and he's already starting to bark, you don't go into this method because that's essentially teaching him that if he's barking, he can start getting treats. So he'll start barking to demand you to do this kind of training exercise. What you wanna do instead is if he's calm, talk to each other, talk to your spouse and say, hey, let's do the thing where we train the dog to not bark at us. So one person has the baby, the other person's working with the dog. Now, over time, you're gonna switch that over into the look exercise. So when he looks over at the baby, say, look, give him a treat. So now you're taking your hand away from his mouth and you're giving a little more distance. Over time, practice that for a couple days to a week. Then once he's really good at that, start to increase how long he looks or how long he can wait before he gets the treat. So start counting to three, maybe to five seconds, and then increasing that time until eventually you can wean off of using the treats altogether. Um, and then the other thing we discussed um, is the petting with a purpose. Start having him sit before you pet him. That way he's starting to look to you for direction and it'll actually help calm him because he's getting that delayed gratification, he's learning how to control himself and he's looking to you guys as you know the guardians of the house, taking care of him, not the other way around where he feels like he might have to protect you and the family. So at just something as simple as asking him to sit before you give him attention is a great way to help set that up and you're also teaching him how to be calm and how to ask for attention in a really nice and appropriate way. If he's laying down, you don't have to make him sit to get attention. You can go ahead and pet him when he's laying down. And then lastly, I wanna remind you that everything you do trains your dog, only sometimes you mean it.